you know, Jadavian Clowney still out there in free agency. There was some news that the Titans, one of the teams that, uh, that were lumped in with the Browns as somebody that uh, might be interested where Clowney might land. Well, Vrabel, Mike Vrabel, head coach of the Titans, has not talked to Clowney. That came out. Do you still think there's a chance that Clowney ends up with the Browns, and, and do you think it's a, a decent chance? Because it seems like the Seahawks are, are likely moving on as well. Yeah, I wouldn't call it a decent chance. Um, you can never rule anything out in this league. I mean, if Jadavion drops his number from, you know, the rumored 17, 16, he's looking for down to a 14 or a 13, then I think the Browns are going to be all in in those conversations. But where he's at, and given how they're limiting their defensive spending anyway, because, you know, they've got big extensions coming up, and there's a lot financially to figure out in not just the NFL, of course, but across all major sports. So now's not the time to get uh, aggressive with money. And, you know, though they, they signed smart deals in Hooper and Conklin, those are safer than going to get a guy like Clowney who, you, you, you know, you can't, is he, a, is he a sack maker? Is he a run destroyer? Is he just a good athlete on the field? Why tie money up with him when you know you got to bring Miles Garrett back? You're hoping to work out an extension with Denzel Ward. And you don't know what the cap is going to look like and what where the revenue is going to come from in the league. So this is – deeper than just how these guys look on the field and what the, the rooms look like in these Zoom meetings. They've got to think about the cap going forward and their extensions, and a guy like Jadavion Clowney probably just clouds all that up too much for them to be interested at the number.